What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing the last two rounds of the first leg of the FedEx Cup. If you saw the end of the last episode you'll know we are right in the chasing pack. We are tied second on nine under chasing Hideki Matsuyama who is currently 12 under as it stands. We're heading into round three moving day obviously so let's see if we can close that gap. And as always, guys, if you are enjoying the content, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. But let's get into this third round. Let's see what we can do score-wise. See if we can make some make some dents in the score. See if we can, you know, cause some damage. Um, not going to be easy, but we'll give it a go. I think. Got some. We've had some consistent scores the first two rounds, so we'll be looking to try and hit a similar score today. Just and see what Matsuyama does. The lead. That moves left to right pretty much straight away. And we're going to end up just tickling into the bunker. Not and a great start to proceedings. Too close to the edge and it's going to wind up falling into the bunker. So after the poor opening tee shot, his second at one. We get this anywhere near the green, I'd be happy. Not far off, to be fair. I'll take that. T shot in the fairway bunker set up this problem, and now a rye again. So we've got the spray can out at the moment. Well, listen to the commentators, Grimmy. You're fine. That's a good shot. Yeah, four full. The first hole's been a bit tricky for me. We haven't picked up any birdies yet. And uh, we're going to be looking to try and put this away for par. Not start over par. Oh, we've put it oh, wide. Got it out there too far. It was trying to come back, but couldn't get there. We're gonna do, it's gonna be near the drop shot. All right, that's in there. We go. Bogey here to start the Moving round. back to eight under. And now he's gonna fall a couple of shots off the pace. Matsuyama has dropped two shots in the first the hole. Very interesting. Not the not the worst outcome for us. Two shots back now. Quite a bit of wind pushing it, so I'm just going to go with the wood, I think. It's lovely. This starting toward the right side. Come on. Oh, it's just yeah. So that sets up the slope and the bumps of the hills have the meant that quite a few of our shots have ended up, more second shots shot than regularly, have ended up in the uh, the rough. So, we've got some work to do with this one. I am just going to position this a little bit more to the left, thinking that the wind's going to potentially push it onto the green. Yeah, nice safe shot that. That's Might a be a birdie shot. putt to try and get that shot back. A green in regulation, so birdie chance. This is a 13-footer. Stay that line. There we go. Nah, the pace. Move to nine under. There. Down the slope. It's in get that birdie. shot back straight away. Let's see what Matsuyama's on. Oh, he's picked up a shot again himself. There are only two par fives here at TPC Southwind and this 500 Fitzpatrick is bang in the middle of the R2 scores as well on 10 under. Straight down the pipe. There is so a big names fighting for this tournament will come into play in the and me. <laughs> Certainly you can get home in two, but you can see there's water up around the green and the bunkers on the left. So if you're not careful, you can make a pretty big number here. That's probably going to end up in the rough, but rather that than the water. And I think we've finished in a similar position each time we've hit this shot, so not really too surprised by it, to be honest. I'm just going to try and aim to the left of this water and playing the safe option. Oh, that's, f that's miles over where I thought it was going to go. I thought with the rough... We were in, I thought it was going to slow things down a little bit and we'd have to, you know, give it a proper whack, so it's just that a little bit. Yeah, it's a good shot. That's going to be another birdie. 
a good start to today if we get two birdies in a row. I don't think any golfer wouldn't take that start. There we go. We'll move to uh, 10 under. Looking, good looking to put the hammer down today. Two and three. But on the and accelerator, if we can. Let's see how it drops another and shot. So now there's three way tie on 10 under. You have to stop and admire the beauty of a hole before you even play it. And this is the case here at the 196 yard par three fort. Just gorgeous. There's water short and left. Drop. You hit it there. But there's a it's strong a wind hole, pushing it? it. Oh, this isn't easy to. Not easy to judge. Oh, look out! That's uh, we've done it again. That is short. I think we did that yesterday as well. Left, and it is into the pond in front of this fourth green. Okay, so the drop made, and this will become we his drop third shot unless we get a chip three. in here. No, no chippings today for that one. But we we'll minimize the damage. That's the main thing. Excellent technique right there to get right around gimme range should help him Look at this. No movement whatsoever. No this is such a tricky green too. So that's very well done. So we're even par <laughs> after two birdies in a row. Again, no big movement from this Fitzpatrick, which is good. Five yards is a good one. Just a little bit of a dog leg to the left. You want to avoid that. Let's see what we can do on this on one. Right. And the two fairway bunkers lining the left side of the fairway as well. Lots of wind pushing it back. One of the power drive. That'll be in the middle of the fairway. Might be just no 300. There. Yep, That's 305. Safely in the fairway. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. Great chance to pick up a stroke on the field with the ball placed nicely in the fairway at the fifth. Now have a chance to attack this hole. Yeah, I think we go for this one a little bit more than we normally would. Because of it, because of the pin being at the back. Oh, we need it to slow down though. Yeah, it's not going to grab. It's going to need to be a good approach well, shot to try and save this one. The green, but a recovery shot, I should say. Now, wondering what might have been. Not at all off putting having people right to the side of you holding a camera, but there you go. The life of an athlete, everybody. Not the easiest putt to try and judge. Should be okay. Yeah, save the putt. Yeah, that's good putt. It is a par here at the fifth, and it'll stay at minus nine. Coming now to the 445-yard par 46. Another dog leg. This one to the left. Large spectacle. See, lots of dog legs on this course. The Not the easiest of shots to judge. Right. A bit of draw on this one, and I think we'll be fine. There we go. Lovely shot. Might race off. No, it's going to hold on. That's good. 94 yards to the hole. And That's what you need. Just over 90 yards from the fairway. Let's go to Noda. Ball sitting nice. Just gonna aim this just short of the green because of the wind. Now able to take dead aim at the whole cut in the front part of the green. Oh, right on the hole almost. Well, I don't have uh, almost landed right, right like bang on the hole. Six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. That's an opportunity for birdie again. And it's going to trickle in. Okay. And there we go. Back to 10 under. Here at six. And he's in the double figures now at 10 under par. We move to the lead now. It's Patrick and Matsuyama dropping shots. Four, Dead straight. Fairway bunker on the left. The only real trouble and the benefit we have the is obviously about dog legs, being where we are. We are one of the last players to play on the on the like any given day at the minute being the lead. So... Yards. If people drop shots or people are in certain positions, that means there's not going to be a huge movement from the AI players as well. But this isn't looking great. We've got lucky with the bounce there. Hit it right on a slant on the hill. It's going to be a little bit harder to spin it from there with a little bit of grass around the ball, but uh, still not too bad. God, six signs. Huge. I think we 
hit this fairly high. Try to put a bit of spin on it. Try and get it just to land softly on the green. Yeah, that'll do. Not and the worst shot in the world, but not the best. Deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Oh, it's not turned as much at the start as I thought it would. Mm, good job but, dead right by the hole yes, there's a par putt. That's the main thing. Go in. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at Go, seven. we've... <laughs> This will if not for the two bogeys, it'd be a really great start. Lead. Probably the best start we've had all day. I mean, well, now to well no, because we had the good front nine in the second round, didn't we? Three. Bunkers, the main concern here. Here we go three then, par left, three. Always an interesting. Right, protecting a green that tilts from back to front. Seven foot drop. I think we just play this a bit higher. Let the spin do its thing. Oh, maybe not. Uh, it's okay. Not the worst. Right in the middle of the green. Can not look into drop any shots today. This a putt for birdie. Yeah, and this doesn't have a lot in it. Might just be slightly uphill with very little break. Oh, okay. Tempo was probably a little bit too quick. Well, I actually think the tempo matters as much in EA, but it certainly does in 2K. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth. We move and to the ninth. A one shot advantage. And if we can get this part ourselves a decent, a, a decent back nine going, leading into the fourth right. round. Don't forget, everybody, there is 2,000 points for the, the FedEx Cup race the front of the on. Best to be on the line here. Down that right side of the fairway here at the ninth. That'll do. Yeah, it's again the so bubbles the ends up in, that first in the first it's cut. A Not a lot of you can see the golf ball of uh, fairways in regulation to today. To control the spin. We'll see. Probably doesn't surprise anybody. How much is it going to swing? Think about that to be fair. It's so hard to judge these wins at times. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet, just gonna have to be careful with the lag putting. It's turning, it's turning, it's turning. Oh, oh the piece was <sighs> I was just wary of that last putt where we fizzed it too much and it went whizzing by. Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. And that will mean it's a 34 but on the front side. Happy with that. One under par. Then Shelton now joining the conversation with ourselves and pitch. It's Patrick. It's Patrick. And turns this one just a slight dog leg to the left. If you're one of the bigger hitters, you may want to think about a fairway wood off the tee because that'll take that water out of play. I think with the wind, that might push it into the trees, but I'm happy with the positioning. It should be all right. It's going more right than anything. Yep. We've gone wood each yeah, time on this hole, there. and we've done it again. Balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Great angle from the fairway at the 10th, but work is not done. Got to hit a target about the size of your dinner table to get this ball close in that back hole location. Come on. Might have got this one all right, you know. Just needed to bobble a bit. Oh, I've wanted a bit more roll, but can't be too greedy. Now this for birdie at 10. And this Bit doesn't look too complicated at all. I don't think he needs to give away the hole. This is pretty straight on. Oh, it's going to just push it by. Got it there, but not quite on target. I never quite get those left and right movement puts. I don't get them consistently enough, I don't think. So there we go. In for par to start this backside. And he's going to remain at 10 under. Round two's back nine. 
was it great the Sharabat 9 was pretty great so hoping we can go back to that first round the island green at tpc sawgrass short iron to the island green is the call here avoiding that small pot bunker guarding the front edge of the green This feels like not a great shot to hit, but we're going to go for it. I'm carrying the water at least today. Did hit the water okay. yesterday. Safely aboard. Down to Iona. This Is there any movement there? Well, for a long putt like this, there's really not a whole lot to it. I think you'll fancy his chances at this one. Let's go tuck back in, tuck back in, tuck back in. No. Swing on the putter wasn't quite right. You can see just a little bit of curve on the on the back swing. Again, it's another par, so nothing drops, which is good. Well done. It is a par here at 11, and he's going to remain one shot off the pace. And Fitzpatrick now takes the lead after 12. He's one shot in front. And we head to the 12 ourselves. Dog leg to the right. But you have that water all along the right side of the hole. The fairway bunkers on the left. So you need to keep this one dead center. Going with the driver here. It's going again to the left. Yep, lands nice and softly. And we end up in the first cut. Well, it's in the first cut. But better that than the bunker. You can't spin the ball as much from the first cut. Still lying okay. And with the wedge, 54 one specifically. Oh, that should be all right. That's right, the pin. Oh, just a little bit further than I wanted it to. Don't roll further, please. Thank you. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. That must be close. I'd say it looks close to that angle, doesn't it? Frank, what do you think? Oh, so very close. So, so good. Tap that in. in. And it's a par here at 12. And he'll remain one shot back. What's really challenging about TPC Southwind is that on some holes you need to favor the right side. Others, like this, the 472 yard par 4 13th you're better off on the left side so you really need to be able to maneuver your golf ball and have control of it the whole way if you're going to make a good score here at tpc southwind there we go lots of movement there ended up on the left hand side though just like the commentator well, said you can't walk out and drop it any better than that that is and that'll a do tee shot right there from the fairway big noted, this chunk of wind second. 160 gets him to the pushing hole. this eight iron and definitely hurting in his face Yeah, we've got to aim a little bit further back, I think, because of the wind and because of it being slightly uphill. It's going to be in the bunker, I think. Yeah. Maybe we could have clubbed up. I think 7-9 would have been too much, though. And the approach winds up in the bunker. Get this up and over that hill, and we do. Okay, that should be in Been a bit of a fiddly day, this one. Bit of two steps forward, two steps back sort of scenario. Nothing really, no real momentum generated yet. I mean, we are one under for the day so far, so it's we've made some progress, but no one around us has done anything either. So feels like a missed opportunity so far. But there's still a few holes to go. So I mean. I think we just we just take our medicine here, don't we? And just get it somewhere around the vicinity of where we want it to be. If it ends up in the bunker, not the worst. If it lands. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Awful pos okay, position. Not ideal, but pin high to the left and a decent look for Birdie coming up. Sometimes it's just about taking the right side of it. When you need to. I don't think it's going to stay the line, but it'll be close. 
Oh, that's good touch right there. And with the posi pin position there, I don't have the ability yet to take the risk. So no issues there. just wanted to play it safe, which is kind of how it's been for the past five holes. But that's the position we find ourselves in. Fitzpatrick now getting a bit of wiggle room. Two shots ahead. But there's plenty that catches and I hope you are enjoying the, the series so far, guys. I know we're almost that at that illustrious 50th, 50th episode. We're heading towards that, that quite quickly now. Um, I think this is episode 44, I think, in the series. So I hope you have been enjoying the stuff that we've been putting out recently. Um, lots more stuff to come. And, of course, the F1 game's out in a couple of weeks now. So that'll be the next big launch that we'll be getting ourselves prepped for. And of course, my luck is that I'm going on holiday the day after it comes out on the 17th. So I have a lot of videos to go and make before we get there. So, yeah, uh, don't worry. The daily content will still be coming to you. I've just got to do a lot of prep for that eventuality. And that's going to be in the water, quite possibly. Yeah. Got that horrendously wrong. wanting to cooperate, and it is into the hazard. So Gotta try and minimize the damage now. And, now with a stroke added for the penalty, and thank you as well to everybody to that has subscribed or followed the content. I've now, re as of Thursday, I believe, I've I reached 300 subscribers, which is just amazing to me. No, um, from there to sort of but yeah, thank you so much distance. for all the support, yeah, as always. Work. Whether you watch five minutes, whether you watch two minutes, uh, well the entire read. episode, whatever five. it is you've done or watched in the past, I greatly appreciate it. As we drop back down to nine under. Well, now the fun begins. Finishing stretch here at TPC Southwind. This is the final. And we head to the par five. five. Let's see if we can make a shot back Absolutely straight away. It's reachable into. You would expect to make birdie here. Eagle is We're playing Absolutely with danger with that tree. I think. Strong possibility if you hit the proper shots. And well, we've avoided it, but we might be worse, in the rough. You're a little bit disappointed. Yeah. Smashed it. Long drive, but we've done pretty much the same as what we've done the past few days. Going with the eight iron for a hack here, which is an interesting, interesting move. I think it might be the right one. We're going to be on the green, I think. Two put for birdie, one put for eagle. Excellent second shot here at the par five. Frank, certainly a birdie is well within range. Going to be aggressive on that this distance, one. That second shot, that's inside the PGA Tour standard, really. Two super shots, and you're right. Outside chance for three. Come on. Yes! Eagle oh, putt. There you go. But that was from long distance. And an okay day tends to well a good day if we keep this score. And so that's a hell of a way to bounce back from a bogey as well, getting the eagle on the next hole. Everyone will wind up short of the creek with their drives, but there is water there to keep you honest. Then what's required is a long, accurate approach. So we get one of the uh, that's surrounded by a total of one of the challenges there to eagle the 16th, and that's what we've done. Going with the power drive on the free wood. Drive here, right on the heels of the eagle. That is right where you want to be. And I think we can drop this because of the wind. Going with the eight. Yeah, see, it's probably could have gone more to the left with a shot, but within 30 feet. Well, not going to be an easy putt to judge. Just slightly down the hill, this one, but it's going to have a good amount of movement from right to left. And a bit more tempo. Oh, a bit more judgment there could have been better. Probably should took a bit more time with that one. This from seven feet. Yeah, that's a good putt. It is and there we go. Par here at 17, and he'll stay at 11 under par. We're going to be a couple under par, hopefully by the end of today. Unless we bogey well, this last one. Years with tournaments here at TPC South, when that a lot can happen here at this par four 18. It's pretty to look at. It might be the. And you can make a mess if the least shots made walk away really so far because of in a round. I think we've hit play on not only the drive, but a four and a five shot. under. 
It's going to be up the left hand side. Just, just made it out the water. That's good. Yeah, you see a lot of blue standing on that tee box. That's a good drive here at 18. From the and this isn't going to be an easy one to judge. Ball in the fairway on the finishing hole is a great first step. But 54 still wedge. Take on the water and control your distance to take advantage of that tee shot. Not taking as much of a swing at it. That'll do nicely. Uh, good shot. Safely on the green in the birdie chance. It is whizzing. Stay the line. Yes. Yeah, that's Gets a birdie, birdie and we move to 12 under to finish the round. That Excellent finish. Round Those last few holes have done us a favour and we've gotten so ourselves our into the lead. Three under for the day. That is exactly what we wanted. So with that being said, we are going to head straight into the final round. And see if we can pick up a tournament win. Get ourselves into a really strong position. Heading into the second week of this FedEx Cup journey that we're on. So let's see what we can do with the fourth and final round leading. Let's not forget we've led tournaments before into the last round. But we've dropped the ball. Most famously at the Open. Being four shots ahead. So let's see what we can do. So proud to present you know if it's Patrick's going to be coming race. after us. We know Shelton's going to be sniffing around. Let's not forget Hovland and Matsuyama. Big names coming after us. Well, we have already seen three scintillating, sometimes spectacular rounds of golf. By the time twilight comes calling later today, we will have a chance. I'm going to do something I haven't done yet the the, in the three rounds and just go for it over the trees. On this Sunday is our featured golfer. The wind is pushing it. That's why I felt we could take the risk. We're going to end up in the rough, but probably the biggest shot we've hit off the tee. Comfortably in the top group, looking to advance to round two at the BMW Championship next weekend. Yeah, Rich, they look pretty solid in that position, but, but really, if you can take it up just one more notch, maybe even win, then this is what the playoffs are all about. You run hot, you win everything. You become the FedEx Cup champion. That's a lot of money. That's that status, perhaps even in the throes of player of the year. So uh, one round today is a little bit more important than maybe what it looks like just on that draw sheet. Oh, I thought it was going to turn more on the hill. No. Nope. But again, it's not a bogey like we started yesterday. So for me, it's an improvement on the round yesterday. And that's what we've got to look to do. We're going to have to hit an underscore today because the lead isn't a big one. Again, playing side by side with Fitzpatrick here. Really under pressure from him today. Now, if you're feeling good, you're driving it well, maybe you take that dog leg out of play and just cut the corner. Get after it. Wind's pushing it, so it should be fine. Yeah, that's worked out well. That's it. I'm, I'm trying to maintain aggressiveness on these drives now and just go well, for my shots a little today, bit more bring in. No and not the let third. the nerves clang up on me. Great job hitting one of the narrowest fairways on the golf course. Now rewarded with a short iron into a very accessible green. Look at the way the wind's picking that up. Oh, we've hit the pin. If we don't hit the flagstick, we're probably all right. <laughs> it's really unlucky, but... Got to try and hit a good approach now. Looking for a good recovery here. And it is going to be... Just that. <laughs> Imagine hitting the flagstick. After thinking... I was thinking that trajectory is looking really good. And then the flagstick just went, Nah, not today, pal. <laughs> Good putt there. It's in for par here at the second. As we head to the first of the two par fives now. It's Patrick now side by side with us. Shelton dropping a shot. Only two par fives at TPC Southwind. 554 yards. And if we can get this on the fairway. It's almost dead straight with a lake in the middle of the fairway that comes into play on the second shot. We can get home in two, but the green is guarded by water on the right and bunkers on the left. Just bumping that down to a normal drive rather than power. That should be all right. Yeah, that's good. Another good drive. That's been there. We go. That's three good drives in a row. We haven't had that to start around yet, so take that while we can. 
from the fairway, we check in with Noda. And it's really going to take a bold effort here. Water in play all the way up to the front edge of the green. So got to make your carry count. On the green, we're happy. Anywhere near it, still happy. Yeah, I'll take that. We can chip that the near the cup and get a birdie. So many different ways to play it. You'd be a little wayward, even with the tee shot or the second shot. But really, it's going to be about the third shot today. How close can you hit it? Oh, go on. Yeah, I'll do. Lovely shot. A straightforward look here for Birdie. Okay, nicely done. That's in for Birdie here at three. And that's going to move him into red figures for the round and 13 under for the tournament. Heading now to one of the yep, happy with picturesque that. holes here at TPC Southwind. Again, flashes of the Open Championship are playing in my mind right now, so trying to keep that out of the uh, equation. Absolute beauty. Again, though, there is a bit of wind pushing this back, so I don't know if we can carry this. Having the birdie in the back pocket, though, does help. That might work out all right, you know. I'll give it a bit of an extra whack on the on the downswing, but running so high. Curling for me. Curling, curling. Oh. Just out. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? And the pin positions so on this good. one have been super brutal. So take a par there. And the lead will remain one. Heading now to the 485 yard par four fifth, slight dog leg left. Large tree on the right can commit a play off the tee. In a real fight now with Fitzpatrick. This is where we want to be. This is what we signed up for. Lovely shot. That's going to race up the fairway. Be about 330. Yeah, 325. From the fairway. Let's go to Noda. Pins a bit kinder on this one. Pick up a stroke on the field with the ball placed nicely in the fairway at the fifth. Now have a to aim a bit short, a bit of wind on it. It should, should be all right. We have overswung it a little bit. It's going to be too much to the left of my liking, but still a good shot there. We're on the green. We can put that for two for a par, or we can First get this in one. And we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, there's really not a lot to this one. Slight break from right to left. Also slightly down. Just hold that line. Fancy oh, chances. just tucks in. Nope. Good effort, but that's going to wander a few feet by. And if we can, if we can start to consistently get the approaches within like within 20 feet, I think we'll be making some really good scores more consistently. So yeah, we'll see what we can do. We've had a few level upgrades, so we might have some more skill points to use to upgrade our player, because we have been at about 83 rated. I would say probably for the first two thirds of this, the last two thirds of the season. And we've been able to be pretty successful just on that. So if we were closer to 90, we'd really be in competition with the big guys, I think. Oh, we just ended up in the rough there. Wayward from the tee. And this one is headed for the rough, Frank. How do we even... Well, sitting okay here for his second here at the sixth. Hit the draw there, maybe. We might be able to get out the way. Oh, we've hit the tree straight away. Got closer than I thought we would, though. Rich, too much grass between ball and club face. Paid a price with the tee ball landing in the rough. Yeah, go with this one. Just got to hope we can land it softly. Yeah, that'll do. Could be closer, but it wasn't an easy way to judge that. Now a seven footer. Got to get this one in. Yeah, good recovery. Read there. It is a par here at the six. And he'll stay right Not an easy place to consistently get birdies. But if you can just get those little batches together, that's what will separate you from the pack. And we've had those moments in each round. It was the front nine in the first round. It was the, no, it was the back nine in the first round. It was the front nine in the second. And then it was the last few holes yesterday in the third round. So 
You've hit some yeah. good shots. Just gotta keep this keep this positivity going. Not getting in our own heads, not try to overthink it. Not play things too quickly, mind you. I think we you want at this point around you're trying we to have a really good chance here. Hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. One of the toughest scoring holes on the golf course did a great job of avoiding all of the trouble off the tee. Now able to take advantage of it's this not even gonna make the green. shot. No, it's not. This generous green. Not gonna even make the green. That, no doubt. Yeah, swing didn't quite look right on that one. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Lovely. Just really good at getting the chips in at the moment. My chipping game is probably one of my strongest, if not the strongest part, because I know I'm going to be within 10 feet when I hit those shots, unless something goes disastrously wrong. And I think that, especially this course, we've done really well. So, three shot lead now between ourselves and Fitzpatrick to Shelton. So, it very much is a fight for this championship between ourselves and Matt Fitzpatrick. This long and narrow green, ready to gobble up anything that comes their way. Don't know if nine iron's the way to go. Eight iron, but a bit shorter maybe with the seven foot drop. See how it goes. Well, it might work out all right, actually. It's a great shot. That really is. That's the best shot. Probably on the par three we've hit this this tournament. Yep. And we converted for a birdie and we moved to 14 under. That's a birdie here at the eighth. And he moves to two under for his round. Two birdies on the front the nine. And <laughs> Fitzpatrick does it again. Finishing the front side with the most difficult hole on the course, the 457 yard par four ninth. Long dog leg to the right. Slightly downhill. The approach shot over a lake guarding the front of the green. The ideal drive is long and down the right side. Playing this the same way we have the first three rounds with the wood. Trees aren't going to be in the way yeah, there. We'll bit Trying to see where the pin is. I can't see it from that, that view. Just fine. It's on the left-hand side there, look. In this breeze, in his face as he sets for a second. Yeah, I've just got to club this one. It's carrying. Is it going to get there? Yep. Oh, that's nice. Yep, that's a good shot. It's not too bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. Stay the line. Stay the line. Yes, two birdies back to back to finish the front nine. And we get ourselves to 15 under. And that is going to finish off a three under front side as they go out in 32. And we have the one shot lead heading to the back nine. With a 465 yard par four tenth. It's a slight dog leg left for long hitters. Fairway wood off the tee might be in order. That takes the water out of play. And going down to the wood again on this one. Yep, and that's perfect. Pretty much pinpoint where we wanted it to go. Nine holes left. Four feet up. So it is going to be... I think about there we want to look at. Just don't go too left, and I think we're okay. Yep. Yeah, well, we're in a groove now. We're Rich finding that groove that we wanted. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. There we go. How about the run here? Three birdies in a row. Consecutive birdie. And the lead moves Let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on. To go. Gotta try and see this one out now. Two shot lead over Fitzpatrick. Does this remind you of anything? How about 17 at TPC Sawgrass? It's a 162 yard it does remind me of TPC Sawgrass, actually, this one. Here at South Wind, a short this isn't. Iron, but obviously, you need to be accurate. Nah. Pitching wedge ain't going to do the job. 
Nine iron's probably the way to go. Wind's pushing it forward and it's eight foot back. I think we'll just solidly aim for the middle of the green here and take the part. Don't take any risks. Yeah. Don't need to be, don't need to be okay, taking risks now when we've got a two shot lead. Just play it safe. Think two putts will work out fine from here, but this is a long look for Birdie. Tracking, tracking, tracking. <sighs> that would be lovely if we had got a birdie there, mind. Again, not going to be an easy one. Apart. Oh, we've missed it. Oh, look, we just pulled it, didn't we? Slightly to the right on the putt. Again, we tried not to take the gamble. We've had to free put that. But we had a good run of three birdies before and to cushion that one. And face Patrick, of course. Gobbles up the chance to come back to the lead. Oh, yeah, it's fair enough. Thankfully, there's a bit of rough there to stop it getting into the audience. Left of this 12th fairway. It is in the rough, but it appears to be a pretty good lie. Should have a go at this. His second now at the 12th. Wins there. <laughs> that is beautiful. Come on. Form on point today there we go we jump back to 16 under that second shot that might be my favorite shot of the week to be fair that's phenomenal to be that close from the rough as well best to favor the left side of the fairway for the ideal approach to the green one with the driver Wind will push it to the right. But the way we've swung it, it's going to hold left, I think. But it's going to be short of the bunker, which is good. He just keeps I think if that didn't have any wind, I think we're probably bang in the middle right of the bunker there. A left to right now, looking at the seven iron. Here as he eyes this second shot. He's six feet up in the air, though. Up in the hills. Might have just... just Mm, didn't swing much in the wind. Thought it was going to go a bit more. And a good approach shot. But we're on the green in two, so. What you'd like. it's still solid. Hit the green in regulation. Great opportunity here at 13. Yeah, and it's a makeable one. There's not a great deal of break. Oh, it's not moved totally at the straight. It's got a good run at it. Nah, I didn't think it was going to move as much right. as it did at the start. Maybe two, three feet coming back. Okay, there we go. Hold and steady. Gonna remain two shots. Overall, great round today. Well, here we are at 14, and this is a hard hole. This par so three. far, so good. Yards. Let's see where the pin is on this one. We've had everywhere. We've had left, right, center, green. and now we're at the back. The best shot right here. And I just think. Just play it safe. Get it in the middle. We went with the four iron yesterday. We're doing it again. And we're going to be on the green. And slight out ch side chance at birdie. Off. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. And now a putt from 24 feet away. Yeah, we just didn't judge that at all. Didn't get that out there far enough, and it winds up sliding by to the right. Yeah, it's going to be Rose and Fitzpatrick still fighting it out in the lead. And I'm okay, nervously waiting each time four. we go to the leaderboard gonna stay at three. in case he makes a jump. He's made shots, more shots. We've got three shot Arriving lead now, four holes 15, left. It's in our hands now. Over a creek to a well bunkered green. Yeah. 
This feels like a big moment in our career. And that will Where be just fine. we've had a tight run in the lead, and we've just got to do the job now. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. We've had Great disappointments. Take advantage of the short We've had with a very near misses. Shot, but gotta be mindful not to get too much spin because it will In come better off. positions than this. Agree. Don't spin too much. Okay. And we've just got to try and see this out now. Oh, chipping would have been lovely there. So that may be not his best of chips, but he'll have that for his par. You'd expect that to be a little closer from where he was, and that is far from a gimmick. Just got to stay the course now. Yeah, good putt. See if we can pick up any shots on the par five. 15, and this will remain a three-shot lead. And don't be surprised if this Patrick comes back with an eagle here and puts some real pressure on us headed into the final two holes. We know how good he is. He is gettable into. Expect birdie here, and an eagle is definitely Go with the power drive here. Oh, it's gone left. That's up in the wind, maybe oh, it's in the trees. Left. Not quite we're going how we sure thought it was. Rich, but gonna have to muscle this one out of the rough. Oh, it's in a really bad position as well. Thankfully, it's a par five, so we don't lose too much here. We just have to hack this, don't we? Yeah, that's an okay position. The Bit of an awkward one. Five, so many different ways to play it. You'd be a little wayward, even with the tee shot or the Not second really. shot. But really, it's going to be about the third shot. They don't need to hit close much power on that. And that's going to be another birdie. Despite a bad start to the hole. There we go. So we've hit six birdies. We're five under currently for the round. Shot lead. With two holes to play. Fitzpatrick hasn't the made anything up there. Is a long one at 505 yards. This is good. Bisected by a creek running through it, and more danger lurks up near the green with three bunkers left and two more to the right. Don't know why we underswung so much on that, but should be all right. We're going to be right underneath the tree, though. That uh, was a good tee shot. A little unlucky to run into the first cut. All right, it so should just be a step okay. or two into that first cut. Here's his second to the par four. One with a nine iron from here. I would hit the tree straight away though. Had a feeling that might happen. I'm gonna try and get a good approach now. Not gonna be the easiest thing to do. to spin just like that lovely pitch shot there we go that ball off the turf just flew through the air beautifully set down fairly quick as well there we go no problems there that's par here at now, 17 here we go to 17 under on to that three shot lead three shot lead final hole we end our round here at TPC Southwind with a 400. Got a job to do though. Par four, really that wall is there. Hole, dog legs We've hit it before, water and we can hit it again. On those first Let's not shots. take anything for granted here. Hit that to the right. Lovely stuff. Yes, step one out of the way. It is in the fairway at 18. One more good See, we can't shot. take anything for granted here. Just he could haul out. Seal it. From the fairway, we hit a bogey and we've, with we've got a playoff the water looms if that happens so we've got to just do the job the stay professional that should be all right don't mind it if it's in the in there just don't roll into the water certainly had enough power just didn't have any touch that's good and that'll be game have been in even. Today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside. And there we go. Three and that's going to be the tournament win, ladies and gentlemen. Shot. 17 under. 
So this a tremendous we win by two shots. For our featured player, we played the round that we needed to play, victory. and it's and nice one. to say that, that we've done that in the final round and not just held on. It'll be really interesting these next 12 months and, to see if they can and there we go. We pick up so that'll do it. our latest trophy. The tower, Frank For Begay, Iona Steven, what a tournament that was from us. Absolutely saying, spectacular. We'll see you next time. EA Sports PGA Tour. Ourselves and Fitzpatrick way ahead of anybody else. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. That's another tournament win in our first year of this career mode. Probably the most important because of how many leads we've let slip recently, especially at the majors. So to be up against someone like Fitzpatrick and to see it through is fantastic. And we've got obviously got into the top 70, so now we're going to play in the BMW Championship. And we're going to start that off in the next episode. We will play the first two rounds, see what we can do. And obviously the objective is to finish in the top 30 there. So hopefully we can see that one through. And we're going to be playing at the Wilmington Country Club in Delaware. So with that being said, that will make it tournament number three that we've won of the entire entire season which is pretty good going world rankings wise we're 18th fedex cup wise we've got 2000 points and that's put us in the lead in the fedex cup and if we do manage to get to the final weekend that will mean we start 10 under and have a great chance an opportunity to win the fedex cup and a pretty 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 nice check as well um for more likely millions and millions of dollars so with that being said guys if you have enjoyed the episode don't forget to like share and subscribe maybe go check out one of my other videos that we've done recently obviously there's a lot of golf content on here and we've done some tennis manager stuff as well if you want to see that and without further ado enjoy your weekends i'll catch you tomorrow have a great day